Welcome to Historical. My name is David. And as always, I am joined by Baki and Got Milk. What, what? What, what? What? It's true. <coughs> That's not in the mic. Oh, wait, yeah. Dude, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Just, all right, like, very beginning. Crash the plane right Yo, when's the, the last time you saw Michelle Obama pregnant? Oh, my God. You tell me. You tell me. Show me the facts. Show me the facts, Google. She got an office, and first thing she did was ruin school lunches. Talk about the she first trans in woman in office. <laughs> she got an office. <laughs> she wasn't even in office. She was married to somebody in office. You, you guys have heard that Bill Burr joke, though, right? About that whole thing where he, she's talking. She had that save our girls. Remember, she was holding the piece of paper. Like, they tweeted it out. Yeah. You know, she's holding a piece of paper. Save our girls. It's uh, the Boko Haram. The 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 um, extremist group that was just slaughtering boys for you know months and months and nobody gives a fuck but so then they kidnap girls and then it's a world national story and Michelle Obama gets there with a fucking piece of paper and says there's this whole hashtag save our girls thing and it's just like and Bill Burr's joke about it he's just like you're sitting across the dinner table from the most powerful man in the world <laughs> But instead of talking to what him about it, what am I supposed it, to do? <laughs> Sharpen a mic stand and go after like you know what it? He's just like, if anybody has the power to do something, you don't here. talk to your husband who's the president. <laughs> you start a hashtag. Yeah, it's like seriously. That so that's that's a prime example. And you know, don't get me wrong. Like I'm not here to criticize anybody too heavily. I'm here to criticize. I'm He's here, here to, to judge. criticize. I'm and here be to the fucking judgmental judge. One. I'm here to be fucking a dick. I'm here to be a fucking asshole. Yeah. I'm here to jerk off in yeah. all your fucking faces and tell you the goddamn truth. Let me get some now. All right. Okay. All right. Relax. <laughs> let's bring it down. I'm getting wild in here. <laughs> yeah, let's bring yeah, it down let me a little stop. bit. Let me stop. You've got it's like you know what apparently YouTube too, they like they the first five minutes, this is like a big rule with a lot of podcasts. The first five minutes is a thing where it's like yeah, try, PC, and, man. try and keep it as clean as possible for real the, yeah. for advertising purposes because the algorithms for whatever reason if you're like cussing a lot in the first five minutes like, even though it's an hour long video yeah they'll strike your shit but apparently they found a way to game the system here where oh. if you don't if you keep it clean enough through the first five minutes you don't get flagged and you can still get the ads run on your shit not that I'm running ads on our stuff but I'm just saying, it's like this big rule with podcasts for five minutes, and we are not even. What are we? We're like three. We're not even three minutes in, and he's like jerking off, <laughs> to jerk off. It's like we we failed. <laughs> Damn. Okay. We failed. Don't jerking worry, off I'll in your have history like three hole. Three more minutes. I'll shut the fuck yeah, up. Dude, come on. You can't be jerking off. <laughs> what is? Condition. What is this? <laughs> what is this? What is this? Have you seen Rules of Attraction yet? God damn it! That's what I wanted to do. Damn. I was gonna text you and like it's try really to remind good. you. It's actually really perhaps good. if you were wanting to watch it because I was like, yeah, we could definitely talk about that. Uh, but we'll give you more time. Honestly, man, when you get to Victor's part, you're just gonna fucking love the movie. He's you're loves, fall in yeah, love. he loves, yeah, dude. Victor's I sequence, love Victor's the whole, fucking part. The whole movie's good. Like, but that in amazing. particular is a very well done <laughs> sequence. So, yes. like, I understand why he likes it. It's very good. It's oh. fucking fantastic. It's like, it's so fast. Like, it makes you want to pay attention more. Because, like, the way he's talking throughout the whole trip, like, you're just, like, wanting to follow. And then, like, once you're hearing what's going on and you're watching what's going on, it's just like, holy shit. Like, it, like he's explaining everything in, like, under, like, five minutes of, like... What? An entire backpacking, like, across Europe trip, basically. Yeah. But what, the way he's talking, too, it's just, he's just kind of almost, like, monotone, just kind of talking very fast like this and just describing a lot of very fucked up things very quickly. And so it's, like, a lot to take in. Like, you know what I mean? So you're trying to keep up with it. And he's just, like, so I go made up with this woman girl. And, like, we, you know, go back to uh, the hotel and we have sex and we drop acid. And then we go, like, it's just, like, Jesus Christ. This yeah. Guy's like, I was going to say from the clip you sent me or that I saw, it seems like a movie you should watch with, some mushrooms in your system. Honestly, I don't know, man. There's a lot of. Heavy I've never done mushrooms, but <laughs> yeah, no. There's actually. I, there's wait, some, no, no, no. There's, there's some a, heavy there's parts. A lot, a lot there's heavy some heavy shit. stuff in the movie. You know what I mean? Have you all? You all seen Sunshine, right? The, Sunshine, the Danny Boyle movie. It's a it's a science fiction movie about uh, the premise of the movie is that the sun is basically like dying out. It's like takes place like let's say 2050, I think. 
and so like sun's dying out and so they sent this mission to the sun with like this gi- basically this gi- giant bomb and it's going to restart the sun it's kind of like the core almost the premise of the core we're going to restart the core but we're going to do it with the sun you know what I mean but I think this actually works a little bit better than the core and it actually takes that premise pretty seriously but StatCast has Captain America in it Chris Evans uh, fucking uh, Cillian Murphy have you ever done The Matrix Dude, yes, bro. That is a perfect, oh like, my God. tripping movie. It's just a metaphor for tra- transformation. You know, transformation what I mean? and kind of like you're a small part of the universe. Yeah, like your life might mean something to you, but it's really just a program in someone else's life. Right? Damn, oh, yeah. that was some deep shit, bro. Deep Dude, shit. Some on there. <laughs> One of my favorite scenes as a kid was in uh, was in the Matrix Two. Where all like the flying, the bugs are coming through the hole, and they've got all the robots shooting their guns at the hole. I felt like I was like in a in an arcade game. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm sorry, yeah. man. Like, when I guns. saw Neil start one? flying, is that the second one or the third one? I think that's the. I don't know actually. I think it's the third one when they break third in. One? They're yeah. bad in Zion. They're like fighting. Yeah, that's yeah. what it is. Do Zion when they that have the whole orgy awesome. scene? That it's shit was oh crazy, dog. <laughs> that shit was crazy. I was like, no way they're showing this on in a movie, bro. In a movie. Um, Are we going to talk about the fourth one and how much of a fucking L that movie he's was? He's a fucking pacifist now. Can we just... Like, we, God damn it, bro. It we, we just don't need to talk about yeah? it. Yeah? <laughs> Dude, you know, I, had, I had... John one. Wick 4 just came out. Obviously, like, Keanu not Reeves is beer. not a pacifist. <laughs> just have him do some cool shit. That's what we, you came to the movie for. Dude, but are we not going to mention the fact that Morpheus all of a sudden just fucking came in and like he's like... Different it just didn't, He's like, new bro, Morpheus dude, I for saw some when reason. it came out. I don't know it, why. It was it was like the big... And like I'm, I'm there with all like my, my group of friends, bro. And like there's, you know, one of my friends, like he's been hyping this movie up, bro. And I'm just like, okay, word, bro. Like I'm down for this fucking Matrix shit too. And then it's just so like I see it and it's just like, dude, this is a huge like L, bro. Like... You guys really just went, like you said, bro, straight fucking, like, just horrible Hollywood content right there, bro. Like, I'm sorry, like, the storyline was all right. Like, you see him in, like, the, the the actual Matrix, and, like, he's in there, and, like, he's in the simulation at the end, and, like, he's, like, talking to, like, his girl or whatever, Trinity, and, like, they're fucking... I don't know how you remember that. I saw the movie twice, and I don't <laughs> remember the plot, just because of that. I did Dude, watch it, was, it a It was the most forgettable. Too. I saw it two times. The one time, and yeah. then the second time, I was like, you know what? I fuck with, like, the story and how they... But, like, the way they had everything going was just fucking horrible, dog. Like, dude, like, Ma- Neo... In an action scene in the fourth movie was so fucking trash. Was so trash. He just had That's the force, like a shield or yeah, some everything, shit. bro. Everything. Every single everything fucking was time. Just throw up his hands and just stop him with his hands. It was horrible. Yeah, no, I agree. That was that was terrible. Well, and, and too, you know, there's every, like you're saying too, forget it. Like, at least in every Matrix movie, like up to that point, there was probably like a memorable set piece. You know what I mean? Of each movie, right? In the first movie... Uh, I don't know, remember a single thing from that movie that I like. That's the problem. Yeah, That's the fucking problem. Thing. So I remember like a scene else is kicking ass that I thought was poorly done and that's what I remember and Trinity's just fucking there with like her made up husband and made up fucking <laughs> kids and she's like like I'm interested in you but like oh I have kids and a fucking husband who probably beats me like what the fuck bro like like what type of shit is this and then they fucking replace the fucking agent guy He's not in there no more. Like, the old version of, like, the Matrix. Oh, uh, well, they bring back mm. Agent, like, Johnson, but then they also had him, like... Agent so Johnson could suck my dick back, bro. Like, he fucking sucked in that movie. But uh, here, here's the thing. Each Matrix movie has a memorable set piece. Yeah. First one, the lobby scene, right? Obviously. Fucking lobby scene in the incredible. karate scene. The lobby like, scene. He's, like, in the dojo room. I think that was, like, oh, almost... I mean, yeah, that's When a he great gets the bug too, but... that goes into his stomach. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. Ugh. That shit was crazy, dog. <sighs> but, dude, come on. Like, the fucking, you know, sh- crossing arms, <laughs> shooting <laughs> guys. Like, yeah. Was, like, it's yeah. just... It's, like, the hallway scene. Yeah. It's fucking classic. You, fucking pillars exploding. Yeah, right. Like just they're just getting destroyed. Like absolutely destroyed. They just walk into that fucking building with like bags full of <laughs> artillery and bombs and shit. <laughs> He's dressed like, up in weapons. And he dressed just, up in black. Just I love that scene. Looking like a guns, fucking school yeah. shooter and they just I think that is on the same level or right below 
the train scene with Agent Smith. Yeah. I think the most amazing scene was when they like jump leap at each other and they do oh, like a they, spin. They, oh yeah. Oh they, my god, yeah, I yeah, fucking love that scene. Yeah, the bullet time and they freeze yes. and yeah, in midair. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, whoa, 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 no whoa. that's the thing. It's like the first one. Like it's every set piece is just really well thought out and really well done, and there's really no complaints. The second one, the cart, the 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 highway car chase. They literally built two miles of highway, like to just shoot all of that on. Like that wasn't a real highway. They built, are you fucking kidding yeah. me? And then they added some cars digitally, but there were other. They were doing a lot of that stuff around real cars. There's a lot of real cars on that too. So no, it's wild. How they fucking pulled all that off, um, I and then in the third one, you know that fucking the final battle, you know where you just have all of the mechs fighting all of the squids, like you were talking about, like you know, super memorable set pieces, you know, in each movie, and you know, so you say what you will about the story in each movie, but at least they have those set pieces, you know, right? But no, they went on the fourth out. one. Fourth one was I don't have a set piece in mind that I can fucking remember. That I was remember like, more. Oh, that was real memorable. I remember the helicopter shit at the end, and that was kind of cool. But like, I don't even remember that. Didn't they also bring back like a few like clips from like the from like the past matrices to like show you what the fuck happened? And like, I was just like, this is just fucking. This is insane. Like sitting. Oh in that no, theater, you're right. I think you're right. Where it would say something, it would like reference something, and it would flash back to a previous movie. It wasn't it? It was doing that, oh. wasn't it? That's it was so it was annoying. They also because it was like <laughs> just yeah, a whole different we, fucking movie. Well, it would, yeah, flash and then like show you the line of them like ref, the reference. You're just like <laughs> we know, <laughs> like we're we here. were there. Not even that, bro, <laughs> dude. They were fucking showing like replays of like what happened in the system. Them, and it's different actors and it's just fucking trash dog like they're watching trinity having to run off the in, in the second movie right when they're having when she's running and then she's jumping and she's all like boo, 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 boo. <laughs> they just fucking show it to you you feel they like the that. lion from narnia like yeah i've been there i was there yeah, when the no. black magic was written it doesn't, which yeah. it yeah. doesn't fucking matter and then you got that colored hair bitch who's fucking like watching everything from the side and like she's all like she's doing flips and all this shit it's just like who the fuck is this who's this character why does she fucking matter who the fuck gives a fuck about this yeah woman? like i i want to see neo fucking kicking ass even though he's like like fucking 60 years old already i don't care like you did it with fucking Morpheus. You brought back like a fucking like, like who the fuck is this actor idea? And then you fucking translate him to being some fucking AI robot because Morpheus apparently fucking connected with AI like spirits or whatever the fuck or AI gods yeah. or whatever. Like some floating fucking like Teletubby looking fucking fucking butterfly fucking piece of shit. Well, yeah, we're Fish five minutes Lo in. He's good. Lawrence Fishburne. <laughs> It was fucking, fucking ass, fuck though. It was so horrible. They brought back Will Smith's, like, wife. And she's old as fuck. <laughs> like, she's just, like, apparently she's just been there the whole entire time and has watched life pass by. And it's just fucking horrible. It is fucking horrible. I was just like, dude, she's not even doing a good job acting right now especially her, her face reminds me of the fucking red table fucking tv show yeah horrible it's hard to get idea. away from that yeah no you can't just have her in the fucking movie now like it she sucks fucking too sucks. because i didn't i didn't think she was bad in the the sequel hell no you know, dude. like i enjoyed her like but then now she's ass. now she's making will slap chris <laughs> and like, dude what the and like this shit? that shit wasn't even fucking real by the way <laughs> Dude, I, I don't know, man. No, bro. They pulled up clips of like generations of like people doing that, and then and then there's like an actual like movie, old ass movie where the guy is all like, "Don't, don't do," and smacks the fucking comedian. And it's just all like, so this has been going on for generations, I mean, and no one people one's have to. been dickheads to comedians forever. I mean, that's always going to be true. You know what I mean? People have tackled and gotten mad and. He you know, takes that, it personal. There's, there's Just the, go home. You know, there's the whole, there's the the great old comeback that comics will give you. You know, if you start heckling them. Yeah, say, no, dude. I don't come for this shit. Like, dude, I don't come down me. to your job and knock the dick out of your mouth. <laughs> 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 no, man, but like, on a ver bro, on that topic, man, I don't understand why people try to heckle comedians. Like, you're there for a fucking reason. You wanted to laugh. Like, he's going to be saying some shit that d you don't agree on, but he's going to make it funny. And then you getting pissed off is just making his comedy even fucking better. And you're making the fucking stand-up show for him 
within those 15 minutes on YouTube, bro. The more 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 hecklers, the more views, and you're gonna be you you don't you're gonna be getting your ass exposed either fucking way by the comedian, by the fucking viewers, by the people. If the Chris comments. made a joke about Jada's head being bald, she's been bald and for like nothing happened. Years. Everyone would have forgot about it within a couple hours. But now we all know. Now we all know Will Smith is being a bitch, dude. He's been getting pussy whipped and dragged by the fucking chain for years. Dude, like, yeah, people, after that happened, brought up a bunch of, like, those videos of where she was, like, would be filming them and, like, would be filming him and be, like, putting personal shit out there. And he'd be, like, clearly uncomfortable and just, like, the next I day, don't want to, like, talk about this. The right? next and day, Twitter's... Just, like, see? See? Like, he, does, he doesn't yeah. want to... And it's just, like, what the fuck are you doing? Like, you know, that doesn't seem healthy. Dude, he's just a good man who didn't have a good childhood growing up, and so he made it fucking happen. Like, he worked his ass off... Like, Fresh Prince of Bel-Air was never supposed to be the biggest TV show ever. That was supposed to be a fucking flop. He had he owed people money, and he needed to fucking make that shit back. And so the first season fucking airs, all of a sudden, like, it's fucking popping. Like, yeah, he put amazing. his heart into it. And- he worked his ass off every fucking movie thing that he fucking did. Karate Kid was so fucking good. I don't care what nobody says, bro. And now, like, he's just, like, laughed upon... On state, like if you see Will Smith, you're clowning his ass now. Like he, like he. That's like, what I was saying. Like Twitter, the next now. day, just because he did that one slap, Twitter the next day was full of like Jada posts of like her laughing at him, dude. Yeah. Like just Completely not calling him, just calling him like a bitch, not being a man. Threw him under the. She'd bus. rather be with her old boyfriend or something, even though they have two kids together. Ah, smack the shit well, out of him. And he's a millionaire. Lives, well, there's that whole thing about the whole entanglement. You remember that? Where she was like. Fucking talking Tupac? About, well, no, no, no. Autumn. Right? August. What's his name? August. Yeah, it was talking about. Fucking Jaden's friend or some shit. Yeah, yeah. And Dude, then, that's weird. And then Will, just some Will fling, was just bro. like an entanglement. Like, you know, on that whole thing, you just like, there was a m- fucking meme made out of this man looking just abs- at his like lowest <laughs> yeah, fucking dude. point yeah, it's fucking dude the horrible. internet's brutal and like they did that with MJ too and they were the MJ crying picture <laughs> you know what I mean that's always fucking out there and then you know what I mean they just the internet's brutal man you can't do that shit can't put god dude like, dude I would oh my god man could you imagine like being in a relationship with somebody that was just like hella toxic wanted to put all of it out there for like everybody for like, entertainment purposes just so she can get some fucking fame at a certain point you gotta understand it's just like that's that can't be real anymore you know what I mean that has to be on some level just you're manufacturing stuff because it's entertainment because you're invited everybody else in now and and so if people expect fucking entertain otherwise they're gonna leave you know what so you gotta keep them entertained so you gotta be like oh i'm fucking my fucking son's friend like what the fuck (laughs) you know like that's just so out there but in this day and age of clickbait headlines and nobody reads anything anymore a lot of people on the internet a lot of celebrities they just don't realize you can be a fucking person you can be a real person you don't right. have to go the Kim Kardashian way and release your sex tape for I'm getting, fame. I'm getting sick of Kim Kardashian and all her fucking other Kardashians on fucking TV and shit. I just want to spit up my fucking screen every time I see a guy. I don't ad. even watch this, man. I just don't even see it. I see clip. Maybe if somebody I don't see it clip, either, but, but she just, pisses me the fuck back off. and back. You know what's funny? It's like they're like they're the natural progression of the reality TV. Like, not natural, bro. Everything on that. Every- but reality TV is not yeah. natural. You know what I mean? But if we're talking like they're the logical end point, if I maybe phrase that that way, of re- where reality TV was going to go. You know what I mean? Like reality TV started off, it was basically like Survivor. Was- Survivor stuff. You'll see a man peeing in a cup and drinking his pee. Yeah. Bear Grylls. Bear you know, Grylls. And, and then Grylls. like, but a lot of like, the, you know the Survivor competition show, and then you had like real world road rules. A lot of these were kind of competition based, and yeah, you'd have drama, and a lot of it was manufactured. And they realized something: hey, we don't have to fucking pay real actors. We don't have to pay like you know Kelsey Grammer or like Jennifer Aniston, you know, a million dollars an episode. We can play fucking Joe Sixpack over here, pe- peanuts, and he'll act like a dumb dumbass, and we'll get like. We'll get tons of viewers off of this. They won't even care, and then we'll even get more viewers that just hate watch because they're just ta- they they feel like they're not taken in, and they watch it with a sense of irony. <laughs> it's just like you know you can't 
it, you can't compete with that. And so eventually, this all builds up. You get like the house, the real housewives of like Orange County. Mm-hmm. You get more vapid and vacuous people start being the center of attention of these these things. And then eventually, you get to the Kardashians, which I mean, they're again billionaires. You know, lots of money, totally materialistic, fucking vapid people. You know, it's just, and then everybody wants that, you know, and so it's just like, don't get me wrong, I think the real housewife shit still persists, and but all that, like, there's, but it's the same demographic that eats that shit up, you know what I mean? It's all the same, all the same demographic. You know what's really pissing me off? Everybody's dressing like them, like they just, and like you just <laughs> notice, you notice everybody's just wearing the same thing. Like you walk around fucking. Oh, like their influence LA. on fashion. Yeah, no, yeah. Yeah. dude. Everybody's wearing the same thing. Like you see a, a huge group of girls, they're all wearing the same gray fucking jacket with the same fucking black tank top with the same fucking baggy fucking uh, uh, corduroy corduroy. What jeans I really hate about their the influence is that they influenced a new wave of like body modifications so horrible. everyone wants to be plastic now everyone wants to be barbie until you see how high the fucking mortality rate of getting like a bbl is it's crazy plus um yeah there's stuff you have to do to name? maintain this shit especially after like your yeah dude, you have to have and fucking the dollars. complications that can go wrong there's that and then like you can get you get sedated during it some of it um and you know DC Young Fly? Yeah. His wife just died because of that. His wife just went to get a BBL and she fucking died. Dude, have you seen the That could pictures? just be fake. Have you seen I the saw pictures it on Instagram. with Kim Kardashian next to uh, Pete Davidson? By the way, shouts out to Pete Davidson, but he has no right to fucking like contact someone off of their uh, off of like their wife's phone talking about their kids bro because that's none of your fucking business you're talking he about that Kanye gotten, shit yeah no he should have yeah. gotten he should have gotten his ass rocked for that alright Sh- like shouts out to Pete Davidson for being a fucking dickhead fuck you for that but I still love your, your fucking comedy but like dude have, if you've if you've seen her in pictures hi. yeah no hi <laughs> <laughs> if you if hi Pete Davidson I know you're watching <laughs> if you've hi, seen Pete. the pictures bro like you can tell like when she has hasn't been like doing her daily routines of like going to fucking plastics going to dr miami to fucking get her like dude like she looks fucking skinny as hell she looks just fucking like flat as fuck like everything just looks fucking deflated her ass wasn't popping like it's just fucking weird she looks like she's been off of fucking coke awful and then fucking like after pete davidson all of a sudden she's plumped up like a fucking air balloon and she's fucking ready to go she gets know, that next dude. bag from everybody hate watching it's, now that it's it, horrible <laughs> now that kanye is gone it's horrible right they uh, adidas on unlo- i was forced to unlock his account so now i can actually <laughs> fucking pay his like child support or something that shit so. fucking sucks man that shit fucking sucks bro. i wonder I what kanye's so child support kanye. bill is dude like dude Six figures or more. You Kanye talk about like he's wow man like what a in, like made some choices. You know what I mean? He was really just I think honestly it's to me it kind of almost seemed like and I don't want to just diminish like try and like say that he's not smart. You know what I mean? But like it kind of almost seemed like like what the way a teenager kind of is pushing the boundaries. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like the you know adults are just like stop you know and the teenager's just like fuck you like i'm not gonna you know what i mean it's just that's the way it felt it was just very rebellious and not like he was really down with like you know like hardcore white supremacy i didn't get that yeah vibe. it seemed like i didn't get that he, either he dog. was just it seemed like he was just using that like kanye does with a ton of things a ton of things like the maga hat i don't think he ever really supported trump like that, he wanted to be president. That chant looked pretty sweet though on his fucking head with the cool ass <laughs> yeah, fits yeah. that he was wearing. I mean, yeah. I mean, Kanye makes can make anything really look cool. That's what was weird when he was in the fucking ski mask on like fucking Alex <laughs> Jones. I was just like, what is going on, dude? That was matching the, was the red hat with the red Octobers or something. Yeah. Yeah. He was uh, talking about how he, didn't shoes. Want, he doesn't want to be famous no more. Like he just wants to be completely forgotten. He might figure. Yeah, that's, that's cool. not gonna happen, bro. No. Fuck no. Absolutely Fuck. not. That doesn't doesn't work that if way. If you still have Kim Kardashian like alive, that's never going to happen, dog. Like, I, I'm sorry. Dude, Controversial still. take: His last album was mid. Donda. Donda two. He made a Donda two. Yeah, he made a Donda two, but <laughs> he released it and didn't finish here. it. Didn't he didn't finish, finish it, it and mm-hmm. he just released it. There were some songs, what a fucking jack, um, like television. It had Pop Smoke on it, but it was like. 
half a verse and it was like weird and shit it wasn't finished none of the shit was finished yeah nothing was finished he's eating way too many shrooms and just releasing shit while he's on shrooms it's like yeah dude this is fucking dope he made fucking late registration he should have just yeah save some time I don't know do you think do you think there's something to like do you think he really has like something like he has a problem He's got a baby yeah, mama no, problem. Dude, he's got no, not well, even. I mean, that. not like more than that. Like it went mental, like in his head. No, like, dude. Like I, I think, and like this, this, like this happens to everyone who loses their fucking mom. Like you just have like a period where you just fucking like lose it. Like you don't know what the fuck because that's your only like that's your main line of like your backbone, your support, yeah, your yeah, fucking yeah, yeah. like the, the person you talk to, bro. Like the most. Like, I mean, like in, it's just fucking hard to go through, man. He's probably lost having, his wife can't see his kids as much dude and his kids don't like his fucking wife not one fucking bit like the kid will oh the new much, girl dude no uh yeah, yeah i guess his, so he married like his his uh yeezy secretary or something get the fuck out of here there's no way yeah that was just a fucking comeback that wasn't even a fucking comeback he married her he made like his secretary like bro dude i don't know what the fuck like Julia Fox was like kind of was kind of hot before she got involved with him and then it was just like she was just like this is full blown insanity like I don't know cause like she was in she was in Uncut Gems and like you know you know she's pretty hot in that and I was like damn alright and then she was acting real weird and that was know. the model that he was fucking with that was like a while back that was like I think the first chick maybe after last split. time I remember he was fucking with like a model and she was like hot as f- fuck bro I mean like this this model like he like 10 times better looking than fucking Kim Kardashian it was in a every rebound. natural way yeah he should have just stuck with that honestly bro that would have been the fucking jealous generation for Kim Kardashian right there right there then you got Drake fucking saying shit, but we all know Drake's a fucking this, sack. This girl. Oh, what the fuck? He he's he was fucking with that. Yeah, and you, you know, that's not even the worst of it either. This is this is what she started fucking doing. What is that? Are you Batman? <laughs> wow. Yeah. She just forgot the mask. She looks like that one woman um, off of a uh, fuck, dude. It's like that one hood movie where like everyone just wear dead presidents, bro. <laughs> she looks like dead presidents. Dead fucking, fucking presidents president. represent she just needs me. The white makeup right there. Jesus. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Have you seen Dark City? No. No. I made my I made my old co-host Kevin watch that. I was gonna try and get Kevin to come back and do an episode at some point. We'll see if we'll, we'll see if he will. I don't know. Might be might be crowded with if we have four mics up in here, but um, dude, fuck it, why not? I mean, fuck it. I, Let's yeah, have a let's whole fucking gangbang bust of microphones and guys talking in the microphones, and it's just everyone all talk at the yeah. same time. We're all just like <laughs> yeah. different yeah. topics. No, we got our own thing. Sound like that, uh, dude. Who's that one? Rebel, sh- Rebel. Who's that one short guy with long hair? And he like we all found out that he was ripped right after. And he's like, I talk like this, like you know. You don't know who I'm I talking like about. Somebody S- that we know. Sneeko, Sneeko had a fucking beef with him. Do you know who I'm talking about? Oh, oh yeah, no. uh, a- moist critical. I love him. Oh. Bingo. Bro. I love him. <laughs> Fucking bingo, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know what you're talking about. It's like these are not clips. They're actually considered max. Yeah, yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, he talks in everything. Yeah, I magazines. love him. Magazines. You don't call He's them so clips. funny. You call them magazines. Well, magazines they are magazines clips. because magazine is what you load. You load bullet. A clip is something that, like, back in the day, I think it was like. It it's just, like a rifle, and you stuff the bullets in yeah, the top. Yeah, it just you, sl- uh, you just slide it right That's in at the top. Yeah, it's yeah. a clip. And so sometimes people just use it interchangeably with magazine, mm. and gun nerds get fucking. It's the same thing. It's the same <laughs> that thing. That part with, I didn't really understand, but Sneeko is, he's like, dude, he's the whole thing was about like him bro. being in the closet or something. I don't well, remember even, what no, happened. No, 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 he watched his girlfriend get fucked by another man. He's just so sitting he's in the cuck. corner. Yeah, he's a yeah. cuck. He's a cuck. That's where that whole thing came from. And you know what? Before that came out, I was all about Sneeko, dog. I was constantly going over to his channel and fucking watching his shit. And then I'm hearing all this shit. And then I'm watching his live streams. Dude's just, just seeming like a fucking, like, just an absolute dick writer. Dick writer cuckold fucking imbecile bro like like he used to be that guy that was like quick to the punch simp. like come there's back something, you throw that bro. On top, there's something about simp. Simp. <laughs> there's that something on top, about being a cuck that just it feels different than any other fetish it feels more grimy 
like you're on the outside looking at whatever's happening you're you're creepy that's what yeah, it feels dude. like you're watching so and have you seen that meaty canyon parody of yeah. sneeko and uh me cannon me cannon so like it's like sneeko and he's like talking he's like yeah yeah and then he gets up and he's got like a fucking like un- like diaper with like locks around it and shit and like it's like a huge lock and then like fucking who's that guy Moist again? Critical comes Moist in Moist Critical and, like, comes in he's got fucking he's like Tokyo Ghoul in this bitch having fucking tentacles coming out of his ass and he's like wrapping Sneakle up he's just like ah! and it's just fucking weird it's just fucking It's Meat Cannon yeah, have Meat you Cannon. seen Meat Cannon have you seen Meat Cannon it's too uh, old no it's like the new you would love it you watch every episode it's All amazing right. it's like the new fucking O'Neal you know O'Neal you lost me dog <laughs> O'Neal bro y'all never y'all y'all don't okay well get back to hold on meat cannon we're just <laughs> one thing at a time meat oh, cannon shit, is fault. he is an artist he does like cartoons but they're okay. all parodies so of parodies. real life events and stuff gotcha and he'll like you know when so you go to like, like a south park thing almost so the kinda. art style is basically when you go to like a carnival and you see like a painting booth but it's all like weird cartoon versions of yourself like mm-hmm. small bodies caricatures the big caricatures yeah. um that's the art style okay he so makes a carriage and makes a caricature and he basically just puts a ridiculous scene together okay yeah every time is brilliant though that's kind of so similar in concept not necessarily art style but similar in concept to like south park where it's like a satirical take mm-hmm. using celebrities or popular yeah. pop culture figures it's pretty good it's like most of the but videos more are like, like really disturbing clips, like two minutes we're talking or yeah is it's it a like, youtube yeah. video it's yeah, sometimes it's very grotesque and every scene is like hand drawn it's like real yeah. Yeah. So it's like real like gory violence You'll, and it's really yeah. detailed like i actually give him props for making this shit happen like when the mario it, movie it, came out one of those things where it's like it is not actually it, it is played for laughs in the way that it is being very extreme like we're like going so over the top that you're just like holy crap like this is so fucking insane that yeah so a lot of the topics it'll take like one person's ridiculous scenario and just like push it to a different level like in a different direction that just makes you look at this like what the fuck are you actually doing yeah okay all right so in in through being more taking their concepts or stuff to an extreme they're kind of showing the ridiculous ridiculousness of it or like pointing out hypocrisy yeah yeah okay the mar- right. the it's very political sometimes. Gotcha. Yeah. So it's like there is a point to it. It's not just like, okay, I'm just going to like throw celebrities in here and make them all like have sex. No, nah, like, he has yeah. like a deeper, like it's, it's funny as fuck, but at the end of the day, like there's a meaning behind it. There is a message. But yeah, sometimes a it is just like a YouTube cuck versus a comedian. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and it's funny as hell. Yeah. It's very hilarious. The uh, Mario, after the Mario movie came out, he did like a parody of that and like it's just so fucking hilarious so it's like it's this guy it's 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 in the movie theater right and everybody's watching mario it's oh, like all the I nerds and they're like oh my god like rainbow city like oh nom, 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 this popcorn and it's just like this one guy he's about to do like a bad review on it while watching the movie mario comes out the screen he's all like hey don't do that and then, like, meanwhile, Luigi's in the Put your fucking phone film. down, boy. Yeah, put your fucking phone down. <laughs> and you're going to give it a fucking five-star review, and you're going to say how much you fucking loved it, and you're going to say what how much What is commenting you on is that the new Mario movie was made for children. It's a children's movie. Yeah. But everyone, like, 40 and up is like, this was my kid's game. This was my show. Yeah, this yeah, was yeah, my yeah, movie. Yeah. And it needs to be five-star Hollywood material. And then Mario just Everyone on Twitter. Out. And then Luigi's in the yeah. background, and he's all like, Oh, Mario, meat and diaper, it's so stinky. Uh, it's just fucking hilarious <laughs> bullshit, dog. Mario climbs out of the theater screen, and he's like, You better write a good view, review, boy. You better write a good view. This is what you're going to do. You're going to say that the Mario movie was fucking spectacular, and that you fucking loved it. One thing he just brought up, that I think though is interesting because it doesn't just apply to the Mario movie. Like I saw somebody talking about this the other day with regards to like um, Star Wars. So like there's, you know, the Clone Wars shows and like uh, yeah. Rebels and like they have the animated Star computer animated Star Wars shows. And like a lot of people, they talk about the shows and they're like, 
you know, there's some dark stuff that happens in the shows. They're like, oh, this is just like definitely not for kids. You know what I mean? And it's just like, no, it's still for kids. Kids can handle some dark stuff. Yeah, no. You know what I mean? Like, you know, not I've somebody been, dying after like a samurai fucking Jedi just slices them up. Like that's fucking normal in the Star Wars community. You, if you, you understand, if you all deal with like younger kids at all on a daily basis, or not even a daily basis, but on just like a regular basis, yeah. you'll understand this pro- point perfectly. There is a big difference between a five-year-old and a nine-year-old. Like, oh, yeah. Like, world's difference. Like, so much so that they, they don't even get along. Like, a yeah, nine-year-old, no, like yeah, they, no. they won't get along. Like they it's may, rare. Yeah, like, a nine-year-old will probably be well, raised well enough, will probably be mature enough to, like, entertain the five-year-old if need be. But when it comes down to, like, being real friends or something, you know, that's probably not going to happen. You know, it's, uh, Nine-year-olds are start to get more complex in what they like, and that's what that stuff's kind of designed for. Nine, ten, you know what I mean? You're starting to get a little bit more mature. You can start yeah. to handle some dark yeah. stuff. You know what I mean? That's that's who it's for. It's for, like, almost adolescence, you know? So, and, a lot of things, like, Star Wars, like... Let me try and put this. Like, I was so, seven years old watching Pulp Fiction. That shit was... I was able to handle it. You shouldn't that. be watching that. It's I was able to handle it. Like, the only scene that, like, I had to cover my eyes in was the... The, the gimp scene and that was pretty much Ugh. it besides that bro I mean like you know I saw the guy like pump shotgun shoot the guy in the fucking stomach and then you know then you know the monologue of him saying I'm gonna go medieval on his ass and that shit was like the coolest <laughs> Marcellus and then after that, Wallace yeah Marcellus <laughs> Wallace was a fucking dude fucking devil, Ving man. Rames is so good dude Tarantino is just dropping that fucking end bomb like constantly I'm just like god damn dude the balls on this guy like right to Sam Jackson's face too he directed the movie. He put himself <laughs> in, in that movie. spot. He was like, I need this spot. <laughs> I'm going to say the end bomb right to Sam Jackson's face. And like authoritatively too. <laughs> the only thing I'll say is that is a very realistic the thing balls. for him to yeah. do. If someone showed up to your house with a dead guy, I don't think he would be PG. Is there a sign on the front of my house? That says, uh, uh, what, what, did he drop, like, the hard R yeah, with it, too? hard R, everything. Dude, Quentin Tarantino with the word nigger is so crazy, dog. Dude, like, it's hard so R. insane. Right to Sam Jackson's Does fucking face. Does it say face. that you could drop off a uh, dead nick uh, on my front lawn? That shit is crazy, and, dog. And uh, Samuel L. Jackson, like, felt like he had done something wrong. Yeah, he was just like... Hey, <laughs> hey, man! We're not trying to fuck your shit up here, man. Like, hey, Does it say cool? you could have dead niggers on my front lawn yeah. in my fucking in my garage with a dead. Ni- <laughs> He's going in town, yeah. bro, dude. Talk about the the n word just being dropped, dog. Uh, I think it was fucking um, uh, what was that Wild West movie that he made? Uh, the uh, the hateful eight. The hateful eight, dog. That shit is so insane. Yo, J- talk about Django. There's the Did Django. Oh Dude, my god, Django. Django. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> the Diaz silence. Um, Django. No, but fucking, you've heard the Roy Wood bit on that shit, right? Where he's talking about how crazy fucking Leo is for that scene. <laughs> yeah, yes, nah, yes. dude. Wasn't that improvised too? Yeah. Dude, that was insane. Then get props up to fucking Leonardo DiCaprio, even though he's probably like <laughs> like fucking hashing kids for their blood. But he fucking called a Jamie Foxx that to his face. <laughs> Like, Shit is insane. Dog. Afterward, in Leo- front of Samuel L. Jackson. No, 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 no. Before, before that, like he, like Leonardo DiCaprio, like on on set, he was just like, like I don't feel comfortable like saying that. And then, no, like, apparently Samuel he was Jackson, crying about it and stuff. Was this before? Or I after? mean, it's a brutal part, dude. It's a brutal fucking. But you part. have to fucking play the character because back in that time, they were really just doing more than just saying that shit. They were, they were. Oh yeah, probably hot. Like yeah, hot but be spin. fucking for real. The way the amount of conviction Leo said it with, every yeah. time, I don't know, I don't know. Well, you've all seen that <laughs> clip, the Black Klansman clip, right? With, oh with, god, uh, yeah. Adam Driver fucking chasing oh, the car yeah. down. Yeah, like, god, like and people are just like, dude, he fucking meant that shit. <laughs> like, when that movie came out, <laughs> that shit's coming from a deep place. Man's inside. been holding that shit back for years. <laughs> yeah. for when years. that when that came out, people would send me. Uh, videos, or at least I would see them, of them replacing Kylo Ren uh, with Adam Driver's scene oh from that my movie. Oh, God. And he's like Talking chasing after something. Yeah. Wow. With the lightsaber that's out. Up. That's, yeah. It's, it's fucked up. It's bad, dude. You think, you think, uh, you think, uh, you think niggers should hold lightsabers? God. That would be fucking horrible. 
they gave him a lightsaber in one scene, but what I was happened actually to him? hoping for I forgot about that. You I thought they Mark were gonna make Hamill, him a Jedi. That would have been so badass. For for Mark right. Hamill's scenes, like I think it was a scene where like he's right next to R D two and he takes the knee and he puts his hand on R two D two. That's actually him just disappointed in how fucked the film has gotten. <laughs> nah, for real, dog. Yeah, like no, Mark dude. Hamill said that. Mark Damn. Hamill said that. He said Damn. that he did not enjoy... And the director has to come up to him. And he's all like, dude, like, like, come on. Like, just a few more bits of you. Like, and he's just disappointed in how As, this shit's gone downhill. I, you know, this uh, Empire Strikes Back, this is my favorite. This is like the only Star Wars movie I truly love. Like, that I will just defend the all The sixth day. one, for real? This is the fifth one. The fifth, fifth one, one, by the, the fifth way. One. Fifth one. Fifth one. It's the fifth one. All right. Is that ca- that's counting the the sequels, uh, the prequels? Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. This is the fifth. Okay, it worked. It starts with the third one. one that came out originally. It was the second one that they made, and um, to me, I think like this is where like the uh, the the Imperial March, the theme, like the Darth Vader theme that ever mm. dun dun dun. That's where dun, the dun, dun, com- dun, first dun. movie that that's in is from this one. Um, this is the movie with the most iconic Star Wars scene ever. You know, no, I'm your father. You know that line gets his hand cut off. Luke, you know, yeah, because it, I am it your ends father. on this sort of like down note. You know what I mean? Where it's just like, fuck, how are they going to come back from this? When you it know, came Luke out, no one knew who Darth off. Vader was, Dude, no, and no, no, everyone no. was hyped to go to the go see. It. Yeah, check this out. Check this out. I was showing this shit to Autumn. I think Autumn's seen like a few old movies of Star Wars, so she never knew who fucking Darth Vader was. But watching the prequels, like the three movies, and her like coming to find out that Anakin's actually fucking Darth Vader, she was like, dude, no fucking way. He's. I was like, bro, you couldn't figure that shit out? <laughs> Like come the fuck on, like his fuck. But then again, like she's not a nerd like us, like bro. Yeah. Like they can't, yeah. they can't understand the force. Like she doesn't understand like the way that he does his fucking <laughs> lightsaber duels and battles and shit. She she didn't understand the whole like Obi Wan and Anakin Skywalker connection. Like, did you watch them in like order? Like yes. one, two, three, four, five. Yes, because okay. I wanted to do that because she's already seen like a few of like the old movies, but like she wasn't really into it. She it was just like a family movie yeah, like, kind yeah, of yeah, deal yeah. for her. So like you know, watching that shit, and then like her, like she she wants to revisit the whole timeline order again. Like that's how but, interested she is. I'm gonna to take me, a break. I'm gonna go to the bathroom. Oh, go for it. Oh, yeah. Fuck. Uh, but one thing I was gonna say, the one thing that disappointed me about the sequel movies was, here's the thing. It's like you get the original actors back. You know what I mean? You got fucking Harrison Ford, Mark Hamill, Carrie Fisher. All of them are back yeah. for this, right? They they don't at all in the entire of those three movies that they made. None of them ever share a scene together. And to me, that is, a, that is an absolute tragedy. Because in the original movies, like, they didn't share a ton of scenes together. But they did have scenes together. They had these moments where it was like we felt, there was this connect, you know, we felt back home. Everyone's together, you know right, what I mean? Yeah. And then they get split up, they get into trouble. Luke, you know, has to go to Cloud City to save them. You know, they get captured. Darth Vader, you know, yeah. plays a trap, captures them. Luke had to lure Luke there, you know, and he does it and he goes and to save his friends, you know what I mean? And there's this, there's this connection there, you know what I mean? It's like fans, I felt, deserved, and not to sound like some entitled fucking fanboy about it, but the only thing I feel like fans deserved was a reunion of our original characters together to doing their yeah, thing to yeah. get like, you know, Han and Luke to have their fucking banter that they have with each other, you know what I mean? You know, don't get cocky, kids. We still you know? don't like, know, all that like, shit. Like, you know, it's probably still have some fun banter. I'm sure they would. And then we do get Le- Leia and 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 Han do get to share scenes, but uh, Leia and uh, Luke, I don't think get to ever share a scene. They show in the new movies. Um, they do actually get Leia, to share the scene. Leia One and Luke scene. battling each other, and then you find out that Leia's got like the Force. But like, honestly, bro, like if you're a real nerd, like you should always know that like. If, if oh shit footsies uh, you should always episode. know bro if Luke has the fuck if they're coming from like Anakin Skywalker both of them have the fucking force okay it just takes a minute for maybe Leia to get into it but she has it and in the comic books she's fucking like psh, 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 like doing her shit in the video games you go up against her and shit if you t- turn out to be like in Force Awakens you ever played that game no I never play, I never played it fucking I, good I, I was kind of wrote off the sequels but here's the thing um, uh, 
that is introduced. The fa- the Leia having powers is introduced. Actually, the the <laughs> fuck yeah. The concept that the the seeds I shall say were planted in this movie because I don't know if you remember this. It's a one off line that they have. But when Luke's leaving Dagobah, he's being trained by Yoda. You know, you remember yeah, all that. Yeah. But then senses through the Force that. Han and Leia and Chewie and everyone have been captured by Vader. He's like, I have to go save my friends. And fucking Yoda's like, it's a trap, dude. Like, he, that's what he literally wants you to do. He's sending, sensing, or sending that to you through the Force so you'll be drawn to him. And Luke's like, I have to save my friends. And he leaves. And then that's when you hear Obi-Wan, I think, come in and start talking and says something to Yoda, he says something like, he's our last hope or something like that, and then Yoda says, like, no, there is another. And there's this line, as Luke's leaving... I thought that connected with Rey, though. But see, now so people are saying that that means all sorts of... Disney different- oh, yeah. interpreted it a different Original, way. Originally, that was... That that's turned, what, that's that, supposed to mean for Leia. That turned into Leia, yeah. but they actually, I think, had another idea originally that it was somebody not connected to the, the Skywalker family. So it's like kind of something like that, um, where they kind of were left some breadcrumbs there for them, but then they ended up just making it Leia, making Leia his sister. It was a twist in so, return because she's not his sister in in this movie. That's why they have the kiss at the beginning. Yeah. Right? Yeah, that was they that was some that crazy far. shit right there, bro. Because yeah. if you've seen you the movie, like, like, oh, like, like, wait a minute, wait a second. Ugh. Yeah, dude, when Autumn was watching like, ah, that shit, it's all right, whatever. <laughs> like, no, nah, I don't know if it's all right, guys. Without the kissing scene, I think having Leia as like the next hope is really cool. Like having them <laughs> being the same family as Anakin and everything. That would have been sweet. Yeah, like the twins. Although, and it's me, like it does feel a little t- tacked on in this, or not in this, in in Return of the Jedi. Yeah, yeah. It's just like kind of like one scene where they're just like, "Oh, by the way, you're my sister." It's like, wait, but you know, it's like, it, yeah, I just like, made out with you. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, I feel like you know, like you're saying, like. They, if this we had been planned out other. a little better, the, <laughs> the delivery of that. That's why been, I like the scene with uh, Han and Leia, where he's like, "Oh, you're gonna go be with Luke," and she, she turns him, around man. and she's like, "No, he's my brother." <laughs> dude, Han was probably like, thinking like, like dude, they have, uh, "What he says is, uh, is this like, in the family?" He's <laughs> like, "You love him, don't you?" And she's like, "Of course I do." He's like, "All right then," and she's like, "He's my brother," and he's like. <laughs> and probably thinking about the kiss. No, but like no one has figured this. Well, I mean, maybe maybe a few, but like n- like no one really understands. Chewy Chewbacca has been there since the fucking first movie throughout the whole fucking series. Clone Wars, everything. No, do 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 do. Like when Yoda's like in the third movie, bro. Is I think no, maybe well, in the second Kashyyyk one. Well, they're in the third movie. Is no Chewbacca has been there throughout the whole travels, bro. Throughout every fucking Chewbacca was not in the first movie. I don't think he was in. Not no, he was in the third one. He was in the third Third one. Third one. Definitely in the third one. He was in the third one. But that whole span is like what a couple hundred years, maybe a hundred years. Still though, wait, what? That nigga's been there. What span? The span from like the third movie until the last one he was in. The last one that he was in, it 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 spans. I think a so it's between. Between three and four, it's it's sixteen years. Three and four, sixteen years. And then between four and six, I want to say it's I want to say it's 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 four years that Dude, elapsed. What? Because it's two years between New Hope and uh, Empire Strikes Back. Mm-hmm. Okay. Two years jump there, and I think we got another two year jump between those movies. I want to say the 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 new movies. No, 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 no. Between Empire and Return. Okay, okay. And so okay. that's four years total there. So that's 20 years. What about after that when the new and movies come out? And then it's 30 out? years mm. from six to seven. This man's so six Chewbacca's, to seven? So I think it's 50 years from three, yeah, that makes sense. three to seven, I think. It, roughly. Right, you know, ballpark. Damn. 50 there. years? Yeah, roughly 50 years. That man is old. Chewbacca's well, fucking Wookies, old. They're, you know, they're, yeah, they're, they're different. different. They're, they're different. They probably are late. Like, Yoda's like fucking 800 years old or some shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's why Grogu or Baby Yoda is like 50 or whatever. And that's why he's like... So is he's he, a baby is, with a retirement plan. Like, like, <laughs> yeah. Is he like... So what, are they, what do you think they're going to be doing with like Grogu? 
Like, what the they fuck? They don't fucking know. They just created this cute-ass thing, and it's making them boatloads of cash. I thought the ending of the second season, when, like, they have that moment where he gives him, gives Grogu to Luke, and it's, like, this real fucking nice moment. Honestly, I was, like, kind of, like, I thought I got a little kind of emotional there. I was, like, that's a really, that's yeah, a really no, nice I ending. Like and then they just fucking undo it. <laughs> so They just immediately undo it in, like, the Boba Fett show. They're the just first like, oh, yeah, two just seasons <laughs> like, I got really into with my sister, and... The third season, the first, like, two episodes we got into, and then it went off from there. Apparently, it got, like, it lost 90% of its viewers in the third season. For Mandalorian? Yeah. I wasn't really a huge fan for Boba Fett either, bro. Like, I saw, like, the first episode. I was just like, dude, this is kind of, I didn't like like, Boba Fett from the start. Yeah. Yeah. No, Boba Fett, it wasn't very very well done. I don't know why they're trying to go back in time with, like, the TV shows and shit. Because it's just like, dude, like... You're going back in time, but you're dragging all these old actors who used to be young actors in these So that's movies. just Disney Plus. They have a subscription service. They want to push it on there. Yeah, but like, if you're going to do something, like, do it like after everything's been done and finished, bro. Like, do it in between. Like, like I get it. Like, Clone Wars was the, like... The TV series and the movies that they've made in between have been amazing. Yeah, like So Clone like Wars. Rogue One... Oh my fucking yeah, god! Rogue in the one theater, was that was amazing. Row one was fire because then you're you're figuring out like you okay, see like this how is, it fucking blows yeah, up and shit. It's well, probably no, the second the, the, best the, thing the shield after goes down. this. This is to me, I think Empire is top, but you get mm-hmm. the Rogue One's like probably close second behind well, this. Rogue One shows you on how they figured out the plan of exploding. In the, I love that the plot fucking, because it was already a plot hole. Yeah, it was already there was already a space for it that they made, but that they but didn't how have to they make something completely it is new. Brilliant is yeah. that it was a design. It was put there on purpose like people are just like well why because that for years now people like you know clowned on you know star wars for this like dude like they there's this exhaust port and they just gotta hit it just right and it's gonna blow up the whole thing please that's fucking ridiculous that's a stupid they wouldn't do that people thinking it's more like but a, like a fairy tale Galen yeah. Urso, the guy actually built the design flaw into it so that they could destroy it because yeah. he fucking hated that they fucking yes which is amazing yeah, exactly. because he's just like Girl's a technician dad, right? on the death star and he wasn't getting paid or some shit, so he was like, fuck this shit, I'm gonna make it blow up. Yeah, exactly. He was just like, I'm, I'm gonna give them a chance, and I know that my fucking, you know, daughter's gonna... Kick ass. Yeah, and... We'll, That's how we'll every big plan do goes down. Right. That's how all the mafias get taken down. Have you seen War Dogs? War Dogs with, War uh, Dogs. with um... Yeah, with, uh... Jonah, Jonah Hill. Hill. Jonah Hill. So they had this fucking big fucking gun-running scheme, and it all... Everything goes down just because, because they didn't fucking pay, pay the, the guy. guy. Yeah, just the pay guy. him. Just fucking pay him what you owe him. And two, you couldn't even have to pay him that much because he lives in like a, you know, yeah, uh, Eastern European country where like the currency is. Yeah, like no, it's insane. completely fucking back. So like you just he was taking like a tenth of what they should have paid him. Yeah, he would. They were getting a break, a deal on it anyway, and like he just still didn't pay him. Like that's yeah, it's ridiculous. But apparently that is based on a true fucking story. That's crazy, dog. You know what's funny to me? It's like I always like. Have you all seen, I, I think it's a movie called 21 and Over? Yes. And yes, it, I saw that. I think it's got Miles Teller in it, right? Yes. He it, plays he plays the guy looking for his Asian friend along with the other guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's like real obnoxious. To me, it's like he plays almost like the Jonah Hill in the Jonah Hill, uh, Michael Sarah dynamic of like super bad. To me, it was almost like okay. a, su- a super bad right. clone in that sense. You know what I mean? And so like to me, I was like. Miles Teller, when I saw that movie, I didn't know who he was, but he had this Jonah Hill energy. I was like, this dude, he the cadence of his talking, like his voice even sounds like it. He's like, motherfucker, blah, 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 blah. You know, it's just like kind of going on. He just had this energy, and I was like, damn. And then they were in that movie together, and I was just like, this is this is weird. <laughs> have you seen him <laughs> in the that, same person? Have like, you seen him in this one movie? It's got Chris Hemsworth, Miles Teller, and like a few other actors, but like it's called like Spider Something. And it's it's on Netflix. You watch it, but um, it's like it's about this guy, um, a yes. bunch of dudes who spider fuck. Spiderhead. Spiderhead. Okay, yeah. word. So I was on. All right, word. So it's a bunch of people who have like fucked up in their lives, and like I guess this is a way for them to get back to their normal lives. I think so they're like, like criminals. They've been, yeah. They've been convicted of crimes, and this is like some sort of experimental program that they've all entered into. Maybe I think for early release or yes. something. And but they you know so, but it's again an experimental program and they all have to like sign waivers and you know, all this stuff with it. It's kind of weird. Shit's about um, 
big facility. They have like these huge ass fucking like square boxes on like oh wait no on their um lower spine, and so they like is this Suicide Squad? No 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 it's like. They had so what these boxes do is it controls their emotion or something. oh their yeah. emotions is not yeah. just a bomb or something no no no. No, no 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 so like like if they want if Chris Hemsworth it might be a bomb but I, <laughs> maybe I, I don't can't remember know. it might have been but it, I, no <laughs> it I think it, it, it caused like brain death like he could press a button and like they could just fucking die from like a brain well, injury you could just turn up all of the settings or something and just like yeah. overload somebody's like fucking it was just because it introduces different chemicals into the body yeah. to make them feel like. You know, a certain emotion or a certain way and put them in a certain state. It was like this whole thing. It's supposed to be like a military thing for like soldiers or whatever the fuck, but you know, they started with the movie it always coasted turns into like on the soldier type. The movie coasted on the strength of its actors. Mm-hmm. Honestly. It was like, really good. Hemsworth it was actually pretty good. is so good in everything he does. Yeah. Like the movie honestly probably is not like the the story's probably not really that good, but like the actors elevate it. You know what I mean? Have like, you seen they make it better because they're they're competent, more than competent. Have you seen him in Bad Times at the El Royale? Oh, yeah. Hemsworth. That movie was so fucking good. Like, he gave me a Charles Manson kind of Oh, vibe. yeah, that like, was definitely mm. what he was going for. Yeah, no, yeah, no, no. Like, sure. dude was just one of those guys who just, like, I guess, like, he was just one of the dudes who just got picked from, like, a government agency, and they gave him LSD, and, like, he just plays that kind of character who, like, grabs people who go to Hollywood for a big dream, but they end up fucking homeless, and he grabs them and turns them into, like, mass, like, just straight killers, bro. And like he goes into the El Royale with like a bunch, a bunch of his like groupies, and like they're just in their bit, just slaughtering people, like, like on some Charles Manson type shit. Like it's actually fucking insane. And like the whole movie is like kind of like Rules of Attraction when it comes to like the different stories of everybody leading up to yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It kind of you following different characters, kind of like their different perspective, it's really good. and then you switch it's to really another good. character's perspective on the events. Highly recommend you watch it, man. It's fucking amazing. I watched it and I saw it in theaters, and but like, and I remember enjoying it, but like, I honestly have real no desire to watch it again. You know what I mean, like, dude? I didn't. I've never gone back. I rewatched it again with Autumn. It was really good. Um, understanding the pastor's uh, like background and shit, and like knowing like where the fucking money bag is, it's really fu- you gotta fucking watch it, man. It's fucking there. It's good. Who's the guy who plays the detective? Or no, he's not even a detective. He's also a CIA operative who's come over there to check like uh, well don't oh like, shit yeah no dude let me stop dude. The movie. listen there's just like some top grade actors in that bitch you know about Charles Manson Charlie you know who Manson. caused him like a little bit bro I know one of like my like he's Tana. what happens when you stuff someone in a box and overdose them on shrooms oh yeah oh yeah and you're also the CIA dude there was this one like guy who was part of his group think? Who was like I? They called him like the night killer, or like the night stalker. The night stalker, yeah. night yeah. stalker, dog. And I don't know why, but he was my favorite serial killer of all <laughs> fucking time, <laughs> Always. dog. It's like last time you were like, "This is my favorite dictator." I loved him, dude. No, bro. Like you <laughs> he, really like he, he killed really, so many I people. With some serial killers. No, bro. dude. Like nah, bro. Like you got if you have a fucking persona and you're fucking like claiming that shit, you fucking stick to it. He stuck to that shit like a fucking G. When the judge asked him if he had any fucking words to say, he lifts up his hand, which is a fucking pentagram, and like I think he smiles with his sharp, filed down teeth. Who the fuck does that in the? He's right- making him sound like a hero. He's a fucking loser. No, yeah, no, fuck He was a fucking loser. Yeah, dude, like you killed fucking babies and shit. He's just a psychotic man who wants to be a celebrity. That's all. Straight up. He was like a rapist, too. If I I would have a favorite to use that term. I would probably say the Zodiac, just because one. Oh, yeah. Never like puzzles and shit. Never caught. You know, come on. Yeah, it's gotta be. That's gotta put you pretty high on the list, right? (laughs) (laughs) They could never fucking find your ass. And. Two, on top of that, not only could they not find you, you were, like, taunting them with fucking letters and ciphers and all this shit. I think Kevin Spacey and Seven's got to be, like, around, like, top five of, like, serial killers out there when it comes to, like... Kevin Spacey might be a serial killer. fictional... That is a fictional character. Yeah, fictional. (laughs) When it comes to, like, fictional serial killers... Okay, fictional serial killers, we can talk about... That that's a different topic though. Oh shit! Like that's like the jigsaw, you know. Like you oh, got you got to start mm. talking about everybody. Then like yeah, got to talk about Michael Myers. Got to talk about Michael Jason. Myers like, is that nigga, bro? I'm gonna drop that <laughs> in bomb right there. 
fuck you for judging me on that part because that's my job. Listen, dog. Michael Myers was that guy, dog. You could look behind you and he's like like two miles behind you and you look again he's like five feet behind you dog and, and he's just, just like hasn't broken a stride dude he's just no no <laughs> he, no somehow, he's not panting or my teleported. man <laughs> my man was like he it's this type of like layer of wood that he's gripping on to pull himself down slowly to kill whoever the fuck's like below him <laughs> That's gotta be the craziest shit I've ever. That's some GI Joe type yeah, shit right Michael there. Michael Myers' dog. calisthenics is just insane. <laughs> insane, <laughs> dude. Dude's, his dude was in his fucking cell, rock just climber. like fucking, like, <laughs> fucking uh, parallel oh to the floor, God, doing dude. push-ups, like lifting his body, dude. doing the Uncle Iroh workout. Man could just handle bullets too, man. Like I don't think he can ever die. I think like because of that whole like there's there's that one movie that he's in, Michael Myers, and he it, it's more of a background on the cult that he's. The curse affiliated of with, Myers. yeah, yeah, and like it's like it, it, I, 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 it, correct me if I'm wrong here. It's like the many people that he's like killed, which is considered sacrifices, is like his lifespan or some shit. So he really can never die with the amount of people that he's killed for his cult. I honestly can't remember that movie. That sounds like a cool plot. I don't know that's, that's not right. bad. That's not bad. A serial killer who's in a cult who just kills people like, like on the regular. Type of thing, but here's the thing: it's like at that point in the franchise, like you're. I think that's like the sixth movie. Like you know, it's yeah, just, yeah. Maybe it's even. I think yeah. You're like the premise has been been milked. Yeah, so hard. I like that- Freddy Krueger. He's Dude, my favorite yeah. weird yeah. serial killer thing. Yeah, well, he just yeah. pops up in your dreams and he like slashes you. That shit was crazy, bro. When he For, turns turns into your like whole, whole bed into tub. like. Blood like, everywhere. It's like oh, a huge yeah. head like biting the tub, and like you're just in the tub, and you're just like. Well, you what? just see a huge ass like fucking burnt like five de- like like what 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 are the degrees for like burns and shit? Third degree. Three. Third degree <laughs> fucking burns on his like fucking head, and it's stretched out. Just like, ah, 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 ah. Yeah, it's just fucking yeah. insane, well, dog. So there's like there's a bunch of those too, and I think they kind of vary. They kind of vary in quality, like a lot of the franchises do. To me, my favorite my favorite franchise, if we're talking to- in totality, Jason Voorhees. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Friday the Thirteenth is my favorite franchise, like because I think it has the most entries that I find like entertaining. To me, Halloween has like you know, first one fucking classic, right? I enjoyed the second one too. You still got fucking Loomis running around and and and. Uh, you know, Jamie Lee Curtis is still in it. It's the hospital setting. I find hospitals just naturally fucking creepy. So, like, to me, that that works. I th- um, but oh. uh, Freddy Krueger, I think the first one, Nightmare on Elm Street, is fucking great. Amazing. Like, yeah, yeah it's and he barely has any lines in it. And I think I also enjoy the second one. And I, I Freddy versus Jason's fine too. Um, but I think the majority of that, oh, except franchise- Jason oh, just drowns. Oh, Freddy is just kind of he just like drowns. A- like a comedy. And Freddy versus Jason. Jason just drowns. Like that's how he his ending scene is just him in the water. But, but he then you saw the scene. Off, he can't swim or anything. But you he saw just, the scene after yeah. though when he comes walking out holding Freddy's head. Yeah. And then Freddy, I do like that scene. Freddy's head winks. Yeah, it does yeah. that. Because then it makes you think is this all fucking like oh my god. Is this a big no, joke dude, or some I, shit? I, this is a big dream. I take yeah. that. I like back. how Freddy's like a psychotic like Joker almost. Yeah. Where he's like he's like yeah he's like I'm actually pleasure in it kind of finds fun yeah. Yeah, because like Jason's definitely just more like a M- Michael in the sense of like he's just kind of just like a a tank, you know? Mm-hmm. I mean, it's just kind of chopping through. People. Leatherface is also a fucking tank too, but if I were to take back a favorite serial killer from a movie that's fictional, I'd have to say Jeepers Creepers, bro. Jeepers Creepers the creeper. was that? Yeah, oh, the boy. creeper. He was that guy, dog. Like all he had to do was, was sniff him. you. And if he sniffed you and he liked that shit, you were his, dog. Like, there's no <laughs> running away from this man. The wingspan on this motherfucker, bro, was fucking insane. He killed Justin Long. Yeah, dude, that shit was gruesome. But, like, that's what I liked about Poor the Justin film. Long, bro. Like, have you seen the third and fourth movie of Jeepers oh, Creepers? Nah, dude, I stopped at the second one. I'm sorry. Dude, it fucking sucks. I mean, the third one was like, <laughs> <laughs> it fucking sucks. Like, the fourth one is so low budget. It is so fucking low budget. Apparently, the director or the guy who created the whole thing in the original, apparently, he's like a huge creep. Not to, you know, no pun intended, but like, apparently, he's like, has like some, like, on top of, 
I think it's like more than just like being like a creep to like women. I think it's like he's like in with like kids, like and stuff. Oh mm-hmm. wow, so dog! It's like it's one of those. So they like, just had to like give that to somebody else. Yeah, and like, they fucked that up you know, so bad. You know, it's gonna get this that you know usual kind of straight to video treatment. A lot mm-hmm. of those franchises get unfortunately. Nah, man, but Jeepers Creepers, bro. That shit, that shit had me up at night, bro. Like that, uh, a dude with a trench coat no. and a fucking hat. The that truck was so just menacing. chasing you down. Oh my like, god, you know, that's, bro! That's mm-hmm. a pretty good concept. You know, I mean, I. Like the first, the first one I thought was pretty well done. Like, yeah, my um, girl said that the same creeped me thing. out when I was growing she up. She didn't like the second one though. She didn't like the second one. Second one was just all like, eh, like it, it was just all right. kind of stop and go. You know what I mean? It's yeah. just like it kind of drags there because the first, I think the first 30, 45 minutes of it are pretty good. Yeah, but after when he gets that, the kid. it really starts when to he's drag. like on the fu- he's on the post, and my man's like this, and he's he's trying to you got to pretend- talk into him. He, he's got to <laughs> he's got to pretend that he's a scarecrow, and there's this kid setting up more scarecrows to scare the crows away, <laughs> and then fucking like as he's setting him up, dude just. Does that wrote to him and shit just to fuck with him, bro? Just to build up that suspense for the kid. So like, when the kid's thinking that he's not scared, he's low key scared because his his fucking like paranoid ass is thinking that there's a fucking guy on this fucking post that's scaring the fuck out of me. But hey, that's just my imagination because I'm a fucking kid and like yeah. that's just supposed to happen. But no, dog. Like he's like the whole time he's taunting you to be more scared of him than you already are, and that just that drives a sensation for him, and and it's it's better for the hunt. Like, bro, dude, when I saw Jeepers Well, isn't there Creepers, something like he, like, feeds off of your fear? Yes, or bro. If That's he smells that shit on you, it is fucking hit. You cannot run. You cannot run. This guy's chasing you down because he's hooked on you now. But like, isn't that part of the plot? Isn't yeah. that something like where like, like he wants you to be scared of no, him? No, he or wants you to yeah. also isn't like how they is that how they stop them? Like they just like aren't scared of him? No, or like so how do they do it? So like the uh, uh, um it's the whole thing like uh, w- within those twenty days of him being al- or twenty nine days of him being like up and, feeding, <laughs> yeah, up and at it, feeding, bro. Um, I think the only reason why that g- his sister, uh, the actor, who played the guy in the yellow Jesse, I think that's what the brother's name was. Dude, I can't fucking remember, bro. Anyways, bro, dude, like, it's it's like Sorry. the the guy wasn't like. Like he was trying to not be scared of him, but like he was already scared scared of him in the very fucking beginning. And not to mention Jeepers Creepers was already sniffing uh, his laundry to begin with, bro. Because the kid already went down the fucking hole, which I don't know why you would do that after seeing dead bodies being thrown down there, dog. Like that's just fucking dumb. Well, yeah, as that's fuck. kind of Darwin, you know, and uh, you know, you know, natural selection at play there. Yeah, you know? yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You see bodies, you're like, oh, let me go check that. Like, yeah, you can't be surprised what happens. No, to you. we all have that thought, like, "Oh shit!" Like, what the fuck is down there? But it's just like, then we come to the logical aspect, like, I'm not supposed to be going down here looking for this. Why the fuck am I doing this? <laughs> the script demands it. <laughs> but I think the lady, she... something about that though, like, if you're a little kid and you've never seen a dead body before, you've never heard of people dying. You want to see that? I don't know. You, you want to see a dead Some body? Some people react different. Some people react different. Yeah, some people's, you know. They want to see. They want to get. Out. I've touched. Oh, that man's body, sleeping, bro. He's missing a that leg, but he's so sleeping. Shit is so cold. Shit is so cold. Like, have you ever touched a dead body, or you ever touched a dead person's hand? No, I haven't before? touched a dead person's hand. It is fucking like weird. I it saw, is so weird. I yeah. saw a dead body. I was at a I mean, funeral. Yeah, yeah, you know, that's what I'm saying. That's yeah. what I'm saying. I didn't I'm not, touch them. You know, not, not I don't know like, why you were touching I them. I don't touch people. No, bro. Like, I, um, <laughs> dead it was, or alive. <laughs> dead it or was alive, like, dude, I'm a one of my, weirdo. one of like, <laughs> it was one of like my, uh, my dad, dead great grandma's and like we're at her funeral and like, it's like before the funeral actually happens and you're able to see the open casket and like just looking at her, bro, like. I, I don't know why, but something just came to me just touching her hand. And I was just like, oh, my God, dude, that's not fucking like I see why people flip out after seeing a dead body. If you've seen them before or have not or just like touching a dead body when it's slowly going away. I see why people flip the fuck out because that's a different fucking feeling right there. Yes. You're 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 used to a natural like warm body bro and then all of a sudden everything just goes fucking cold and you're just like holy shit nah like wait the fuck up bro like what the fuck like that shit is it, crazy it is it's weird yeah it turns from a, a person having a soul to just a thing you just and you're not used yeah, to things yeah, yeah, having yeah. a face and things having 
maybe a name that you recognize yeah, like human characteristics but it doesn't have yeah. the- metaphorically you see the life go out of its eyes bro it's fucking insane and it's like it's scary at the same time but, but like it's just a weird fucking it's not just, something like, that chill you down can your spine see like you can't see a soul leaving but you can see a soul leaving yeah 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 yeah, 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 yeah. it's one of those kind of aspects it's fucking weird well, yeah, 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 it's definitely something that, you know, obviously not a lot of people experience, you know, on a day to day basis or so, you know, when that does happen, obviously a very unique thing, you know, and memorable. Um, so, yeah, like, I mean, it's something everybody recognizes, at least you remember it in your life because it's so different. Yeah, dude. Fuck, man. My experience was like I saw uh, my hamster die and hamsters always die in like tragic deaths. Yeah, I, I woke up. It was like a birthday infection. present. I woke up and the hamster had hung itself by the bars of the cage. God, it, it was just that smart to figure out that I did not want to be here at this time, dog. Like I he don't. knew his his life was just gonna be in a ball, a plastic ball rolling around my floor. So he just he offed himself. <laughs> Dude, cool fucking story. I, I had to pick him out of the cage. You had to pick and him out. It was so it was so weird because I was only like ten, and I realized just holding him that it was something new it was like a different creation it didn't have any life force anymore yeah and it had the personality before it had and now yeah, it's yeah. Just, it was just it was just like a few just, pounds lighter yeah 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 it's, it's so weird you know yeah because we call yeah we call you have all these dead. memories of like you missing the thing see yours not died from hanging itself mine died from a fucking urine infection and when i went to school the next day and they're asking me like oh dude how's your fucking hamster and i say in front of the whole class it died from a urine infection everybody's fucking <laughs> laughing at my face oh, inc- <laughs> including the teacher bro getting a hamster has to be the easiest way to give your kid ptsd yeah dog. <laughs> like, <laughs> my mom you will me- see them die in a horrific my mom horror film way my mom made me <laughs> carry this motherfucker out like in its in its cage still like dead in its like home thing right because i was poking and i was just like mom like batman's not waking up named him fucking batman, batman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah my fucking retarded ass and i fucking like name. What are you talking about? i'm i'm poking well no he climbed on the bar so it was kind of like spider-man you know what i'm saying Spider-pig. that's why i call myself dumb about it because like he could have been a spider-man <laughs> should have been, <laughs> <should've> been, <laughs> <should've> been peter <laughs> parker gone too soon <laughs> Not a Bruce Wayne. He's more Dude, of a but she Parker. made me. She made me walk to the dumpster, which is like a minute walk, maybe two minutes of a walk. And I'm carrying, I'm carrying the fucker, and I throw him in the dumpster. I'm just like, well, that's it. Like, I don't have a fucking hamster no more. Like, it's in the fucking dumpster. I don't want to dive into it because there's all this goop and gunk and all this shit around it and stuff, and it smells in here. Now I can't fucking, I, I can't even look under because someone's fucking fishy ass fucking trash is in that bitch, and now he's just mutated along with that fucking smell now. Fuck it. You know, it's like really weird though. It's like, I do think that when it comes to dogs, you know, like... Oh, my God, dude. That's the hardest thing ever, It's dog. tough, but, like, you know, there's something about it where it's, like, they really do thrive off of a uh, human connection. You yeah. know what I mean? And, like, like it was so weird because, like, when I... My, uh, like, my childhood dog, like, that I grew up with, um, you know, was, you know, still kicking it. I think she was, like, 12. Um, and, like, I went off to college... I was gone, like, you know, but, like, the thing is, is, like, I, you know, once I left, it was basically only my mom, you know, like, my sister is gone, my, like, you know, I was gone, mom was there by herself with the dog, so it's, like, I think have you know, the extra energy, you know, the extra people around, you know, and all that stuff, like, that keeps a dog going, you know, and um, I was gone a month, and it was, like, a month past, and, like, the dog Dude, declined, like, like, so yeah. much in that month, and, like, mm-hmm. I had to get put down, it was just, like, really sad, but it was, like, you know, it just, it was, but that's what it kind of struck me about it. it was just like, man, I was like, I wondered if it was like the fact that like my presence, so like the energy that just, you know, you know, human connection provides to the dog, yeah. like what that does. Well, like, you know what they say, bro? Like when a human looks at a dog, a human knows that this dog's not going to be around for fucking ever. Like it's going to be around for like maybe 12 13-ish years, maybe. But to a dog... You are there for its entire yeah, life. you yeah, are young. there forever, dog. And, like, they thrive on that shit. Same thing with fucking cats, dog. It took three days for my mom's funeral just being away and then coming back and then, like, 
it's like it's just he looks up and he's pissed the fuck off. He's just all like, dude, where the fuck have you been, bro? Mm-hmm. Like you yeah. leave me this huge bowl of fucking food and water for three days, right? And you just leave me here like I'm just some fucking chopped liver. Your life is usually around seven times longer than theirs. So every day that you're at work and they're just at home, it's seven days for them. It's fucking insane. So, so you, when you were gone for that you month, week. when you were gone for that month, that was probably like they gotta a make whole it count. year. They got to make it yeah, maybe yeah, a yeah, half a year for count them, that bro. they got yeah. with you. They and don't that always feels like time like that. Cats don't get like that. A lot of people like cats, but cats don't get like that. No, Man, no, no. My dogs, like dogs that. will have like a real partnership with you. Yeah, and so it feels like dogs you're losing like a friend real versus like a pet. Like dogs are like real dependent on you because more more so than just for the food and the water. Like they were, are dependent on you for an emotional connection. That's mm-hmm. why dogs want to play. That's why like dogs, you you need they to get their energy like their happiness out. and everything. You need to get their energy out. You know, and that's why some people they buy these fucking dogs and then they don't play with them or they don't get their energy out. They just keep them in crates all oh day. My they God. wonder why I the feel dogs so have bad for... temperaments and shit. It's like because you're not connecting with them. Yeah. yeah, that's what they thrive on, and that's why they develop good social skills is through you know connection. You know, and like I always feel so like, sad oh. seeing like people in the city with like huskies. Yeah, they like, they never let them out. They're just like trapped in like in a, a twenty foot by twenty foot yeah. apartment, no, I, I and think, it's this huge dog that should be roaming free. Yeah, they need to get their energy. Out. I think the big hardest dogs, thing. Man. I think the hard. And I was um. I remember this is like with my ex like a year ago or two years ago, and um we're like walking downstairs because apparently the dog's just acting different. Like normally the dog comes up the stairs, but like I'm looking at the dog and I'm just like, dude, he does not have like long, bro. Like he does not have long. And I'm trying to explain to my ex at the time because like at this point she's gotten her mom, her brother's involved in this situation. She's crying and all this shit. She spent at least like an hour just laying down with him and shit. And I'm looking at it and I'm just like, dude, like he like... (sighs) Like, he's probably going to be there for, like, another week or two, dog. Like, I mean, like, I'm looking at its eyes. Like, he just looks, like, the dog is, like, looking up at me as if, like, dude, like, I don't have long, man. Like, yeah. I'm just here you, at this point. You can tell he's done. Yeah, <laughs> he's no, dude, like, like I'm, and, like, I'm like good. <laughs> she's saying to him, like, dude, like, I've get up. Enough. Like, come on, like, get up, get up, get up. And, like, it's it's a sad situation because you're she's not registering that, like, you know, like, dogs don't live forever type yeah, shit. yeah. yeah. And it was just so hard to watch. And I, I just had to break it to her. I was just like, dude, like, yeah, he's not going to be here probably within the next, like, few weeks. That's and then, a really like, good, like. the mom like, looks at me and she's all like. Yeah. And I'm just like, dude, I mean, like, I'm dropping the fucking news on you. Like, this is real. Like, I mean, like. That is a really good, like, psychological, like, lesson to learn. Yeah. Is that you can see a dog aging way faster. And you'll recognize it because they age, like, seven times faster. Mm-hmm. So you'll, like, my dog at home, Biscuit last two weeks he was like jumping around he was having a great time this week he is just laying all day yeah all day and it's hard and it's hard to recognize that because it feels like he should just be the same or that he's just sick but he's getting really old yeah and yeah. you can tell and you need to spend like quality time with him before he goes because he's not gonna get long and it's easy to see that in dogs yeah. because they age so much faster but People are the same. Oh, yeah. People are the same. It just hit me with my grandparents, too, bro. Like, my grandparents, like, I'm just looking at them now, and it's just like, I could just remember them, like, like years down the line in the past, just, like, looking just fucking, you know, just, like, more yeah, alive. Yeah, you know, more dude, alive. It's the thing, it's too. It's like, you know, I, yeah, I remember, you know, you think about your relatives, right, and, like, growing up and, like, the way they yeah. look versus, like, now and stuff. Yeah, I mean, you can just, like, see, like, there's, like, almost, like, there's, I don't know. It's like it's almost weird too. Anytime I go to like visit relatives and stuff, it's like it's almost like that's the idealized version of them in your mind. It's like almost there's yeah. almost part of me that thinks that's that's the version I'm gonna mm-hmm. see. You know what I mean? When I show up, that it's gonna be like them, the way they were when I was like fucking six or seven. You know, it's yeah. like really weird. My grandma gave me a talk. She was just like, "I'm getting old," and then like when she told me her age, which she had a hard time remembering, by the way, like that was already hard to like just just process and then she tells me that she's like about to be 83 grandpa's about to be like 87 i'm just like oh my god and like all that shit just hit me all at once i'm just like dude i gotta like i gotta take all out to dinner at some point like go out 
do something, you know what I'm saying? But they can't do all that because they're getting like really old. They can't yeah. walk for miles, bro. Like they can't do that. They could walk for about 15 minutes and then they're fucking out of energy, dog. And it's just like that right there is hard to see because I just remember wa- taking walks with my grandma to the fucking yeah. Hollies. I had some memories about my granddad. He used to take us out on the boat <sighs> and he would be driving the boat around like a madman <laughs> and we'd be like in inner tubes Yo, like, yeah. behind the boat. It was so much fun. But he had so much energy then. His face was like full. Yeah. And now he has like an arch, like damn. Damn. Dude, punch yeah. Back of Notre I Dame. just noticed yeah. my grandma has an arch too, bro. And I was just like, holy shit, like a few years ago, you did not have this dog. Like, what the fuck is yeah. going on here? It's something yeah. you should pay attention to. Dude, like when I said, like, yeah, he's probably only got like a few more weeks left, bro. Like, the mom was already saying, like, e- babe, like, he's. Like, what did you expect? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, he's going to be, like, leaving us at some point. And, yeah. like, she's just not ready to hear that. And then my dumb ass fucking says, yeah, he's probably got, like, two weeks. <laughs> and it's just fucking, like, like, he's Some, got maybe two weeks. <laughs> he's just, like, sitting there, I'm like, just trying to be realistic here, man. Because, like, I mean, like, what? Two more weeks until, like, he really just starts showing that he's not wanting to be here right now like yeah no no and then you have to put him down it's just like dude like i mean like you better have the the f- best time ever take him out to fucking kfc or some shit i can see yeah. how that could come off callous like one time i did, this is kind of one of those things where i was like younger could like put a foot my foot in my mouth um, <laughs> by uh so i uh like one of i had an aunt like uh you know like we're getting pretty personal here on the fucking podcast but so i had a relative um that passed away you know, pretty young. What are you... <laughs> Dude, is this Ghost Recon Desert City? I'm listening. I'm listening. I'm listening. <laughs> I just, my fault. <laughs> you got aliens... I'm like, I'm, like, I'm like getting like... Like opening up my soul he here. He just said you <laughs> were getting real so personal here. Ghost Recon? <laughs> Dude, he's fucking... Bro, come on. <laughs> fucking alien... <laughs> AVP, bro? <laughs> my fault. Like, I I was like, <laughs> it's like burying my soul. I'm right? so sorry. <laughs> come on, man. <laughs> Put a foot in my mouth. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, your fucking dog died? Loser. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, your dog died Ghost Recon, bro. Uh, so, you know, my mom had said something to us, like, on the way up there to me and my sister. She was just like, look, guys, you know, this isn't going to be the only funeral we're going to be coming up here for. You know what I mean? Like, you, you know, they, your grandparents are getting old. Damn. You know, this is going to be, you know, we're Damn. probably going to be making some trips up here. Um, and so... <laughs> When I'm, we're all like together, and like at some point, like I, I like fucking repeated it in like front of my grandparents. <laughs> That's fucked up. That's- Shit. <laughs> it just didn't even fucking register to me why this would be, you know, a problem, a problem, yeah. problem yeah. thing to say. Cause like you're saying, it's the fucking truth. Yeah, no, it is. It is it's- the fucking truth. Everyone's scared of like having a different image of them projected on their kids. Yeah. Like if their kids hate you. That sucks. If you're the grandparent and your grandkids don't like you yeah. for some reason, could be anything. That fucking sucks. Yeah. Like, I didn't like my grandpa for the longest and he didn't really like me, but like, he loved me, dog. And like, now that I'm like really able to register that I don't really have that much longer with him, like, I don't want it to just like end off like me not liking him as much, you know what I'm saying, or him not liking me as much. Like, that's why I'm like really trying to work my ass off, find an actual job, job, like move out at some point. I want him to be around to see that. But like yeah, at the same yeah. time, it's just all like you just never know. Like that man could just wake up and croak one day and, you know, he's just passed out in his fucking bed, dying peacefully. Remember that, that bit from Scary Movie 3? <laughs> like, how are you going to wake up dead? <laughs> oh, yeah. How the fuck you wake up dead? How the fuck you wake up dead? Kevin Hart in that movie was so hilarious, <laughs> dog. <laughs> You're not alive to wake up. When the aliens piss out of their fingers and they're starting to shove their fingers oh, yeah. down <laughs> other people's mouths, just like ah! that's how we say hello or whatever. I can't remember what it is. That's but. fucking crazy. And like, no, how they say hello is when they kick each other in the balls because oh, yeah. they don't right. have like a groin yeah, area that's, that's like right. you know. That's why they pee through their fingers. Yeah. yeah. Yep. 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 You think that's how they actually do it, bro? I think nah, I think that was a joke. I, I watch fun, movies, bro, and I'm just to all like, movie. I'm just all like, is this how they actually do things, bro, or is this like a like a fact that th- like the director got and he just put it in there? Who I, knows? I don't know. I th- that I, seems it like is it was getting late. To be funny. I gotta go. So, oh shit! Yeah, we keep going. I know, right? All right. Yeah. So, fuck, dude. 
fuck. Can the next one be us just fucking talking, having a fucking good time? I mean, we can do whatever. You, you gotta want. send me the movie to watch. Oh shit, yeah, dude. Then well, we can I mean, talk, bro, dude, my solar, that bitch forever. solar yeah. movies dot dot to does not like have rules of attraction. It's got <laughs> the rules of a relationship. It's got the rules of a marriage or some shit. And it's all like this? a TV show series. I think it's like spin-offs? a knockoff. Yeah, it's like a spinoff yeah. from like the movie. Because huh. the movie. So the laws of attraction. Are the rules of attraction? Rules it's of the attraction. rules of attraction. Yeah. It's the rules of attraction. There, I think man. there is a movie called there is a movie called something like the Law of Attraction or something, but it is called the Rules of Attraction, the one that we're talking about. I have the Blu-ray, like I said. Um, you know, if you, you can want. watch it right now. <laughs> I gotta go. But yeah, he's gotta, he's gotta go. Do you have work tomorrow? I'm on vacation, buddy. Oh fuck! Where so you going? So I won't be here for the, your next episode. I'll where be, you going, I'll nigga? Be in Orlando. Oh yeah. Ooh. Uh oh. Oh, fuck boy status. No, no, no. I got a girl. Let's oh, go. fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Wife <Wifed> up. Oh, <laughs> shit. Off the market. Off it. Don't worry, buddy. Right. You'll be wearing one of these real, real soon. Real soon. Marriage is a scary thought. <laughs> Marriage yeah, is a scary thought. Yeah, just sign up for thought. a prenup, bro. You're all fucking good. I already got my wife to you got fucking a be down with that. Yeah, dude. Autumn's already fucking. Yeah, no, we'll get a prenup. I was Are like, you writing the you. prenup? Because that'd be funny as hell. Ah, uh, probably. I'll fucking, I'll fucking do whatever. Shit, fuck it. You prenup. That'd be funny if you prenup. Your prenup is like on the... a napkin. It's like <laughs> handwritten. Like, yeah. All right. I just need you to sign right here. It'd be funny if your prenup ended up actually like screwing you Babe. over. Like she, she like makes making like all she the reverses money. it, and all you get is fucking ghost recon. <laughs> We're in the middle of glory days right now. What the fuck? <laughs> Can we not do this in glory days, please? All right. So to wrap the episode up. Uh, thanks for listening. If you like this, go follow Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, TikTok on that shit now, and uh, go leave five star reviews. Talk mad shit, dude, bro. Talk the most shit about me, nigga. I want you to fucking shit on my face in those comments. Shit on him for not knowing the line from what was that movie? He's black, but he's just not too black for me. He's oh, just Pulp like half Fiction. black. Pulp Fiction, yeah, bro. yeah. Yeah, shit on me for fucking. Oh, uh, damn. Saying, they're going to put the logic card on you. Dude, hit me with the you hard don't... ER <laughs> comment, bro. You look way too I don't white. I agree with the fact that he did the hard ER, bro. That's just not him. Like, he's black, but he's not too black to say that type of shit. It's just not registering you, for me. Do you, like, on a, do you deal with that? Do, do people, like, actually. Have you ever yeah, gotten, like, the so you're dead not yeah, black no, enough? Bro, yeah, no, like, I'm not that black shit's enough. fucking. Ignorant as fuck, right? What the hell, man? But then again, like, you know, wait, what is it? Like, you know, wait, like, who are you to line? determine like, that dude, he's do you not? Do you want to see a picture understand. of my fucking mom? Because she's black <laughs> as fucking day with a Black Panther tattoo on her right fucking shoulder. It makes no fucking sense. Yeah, Had yeah. someone think I was Hispanic? I don't mind that. She's apparently fine, Hispanics like get away with it. I don't know, dude. I, don't, <laughs> I don't, like, don't fucking know the rules. You have no. I just know that to, I can't. Say you have no it, room so to talk, sir. Yeah. Don't worry. I'll give you a fucking. I'll I think as our race, we don't need to be the N-word police for yeah. other races. Right. So, yeah, yeah. That's, what I, I think, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, I don't have I think to know. you again? I'm white. And what? And? You're just white? I'm just plain. Dude, no. Vanilla. What's your, what's your fucking, bread. what's your background? Wonder bread. Well, <laughs> shit, I don't know. Dude, I think Ireland or something. You got to, you got to, what, dude? Irish, I thought yeah. you were like. Get the fuck Irish out and of something. here. You gotta Irish. have like a little like fucking Chinese or Japanese or Philippines in Maybe you. Nah, dog. You got any German? Any German in there? Are you kidding yeah. me, dog? Yeah. I'm gonna sound so sound like fucking that. racist for saying that, but fuck it. I'm a I'm I'm English, Irish, French, and Italian, all equal parts, twenty five percent each. Dang. I found out I was Indian, black, white, but in my white side, I'm like German, Irish. That's so you took the it. whole like twenty three of me? Swear. I haven't done that. It's just what my family says. I don't know. Yeah, no, that's why I go by. That's what my family says. Like, because unfortunately, honestly, I haven't you know. been interested enough to check. So honestly, I mean, like, I don't know, man. Like, I kind of liked it because, like, you got to learn more about yourself. You know what I'm saying? Like, you were just like able to just like look at, oh shit, like I didn't know that I had this percentage of me. Like, yeah, I got like five yeah, yeah, percent yeah. Latino in me too. Like that shit is fucking insane. Interesting. I yeah, fucking I like that. that shit, but maybe it would tell me something new. I don't know. Like, I'm pretty sure it's though. It's it breaks down at least roughly in those percentages. Like, yeah. yeah. Because it's weird. It's it really was like 
like my grandfather was on one side was like 100% English. My grandmother that he married was 100% Irish. Then like on the other side, like the grandfather was 100% French and then the grandmother was 100% Italian. I think that's cool that you like know it just to like have a piece of your history. But I was at a party one time and this girl came up to us and she was like pure white. She was vanilla as hell. Like, like no sun in the past three weeks. Oh damn! And she no she was she was on something, but she came to, oh, up to dude, us I, and dude, she was like, look. "Hey guys, I'm three percent black." Yeah, get the fuck out of get here! Get the bro. fuck! Why are you telling oh, me dude, this shit, dude? dude I don't dude, care. There's a I'm video. probably fifty percent Neanderthal. And get the fuck out of my face! I don't know if you're in the disco. You don't need disco. to come up to me saying you have a part of a past to an n-word past, like bro. Hold on, dog. Oh, right, get yeah. out of my face! Hold on, before you end this shit, dog. Hold on, hold on. There's <laughs> this video of this woman at a party, and she says, "I've never met a nigger in real life." And she's hugging this black guy, dog. And she is caught on 4K. Oh, I think I Are you in the I disco disco I chat? I saw that. No, no, I'm, no, no. I'm pretty sure Maybe. I saw that. Hopefully, dog. This because shit is after insane. after she says that everyone in the party's just like, yo. Dude, yeah, I think I posted <laughs> that shit. I think it's I posted like, it on... Oh, there's, dude, I don't know. There's don't sometimes, know there's things people say that you, everyone has to look at them and like, they need to be judged. Dude, she's about you to get fucking You need to be judged by public trial. There was like a, everyone in the room has to tell you if they're good friends, they have to tell you that you're you're a piece of shit. How about that? Yeah, you're being a piece of shit. You're gonna be judged for what you say. Yeah, you don't have a right to like be free of judgment. Yeah, that's not, that's, that's bullshit. Not, yeah, that's you, how that's that's yeah. how dictators happen yeah. because they just have all the yes men. The they're the like, oh new, yeah, let's do this shit. Emperor's new clothes, right? The emperor, yeah, that's the whole thing. Is they can't Dude, have yeah. anybody Fucking criticize weird. them. And so when you have all the yes men around you, you know, that's the whole point of that story, right? Like the, the emperor is fucking naked yeah. and nobody around him has the courage to tell him that he's fucking naked, dude. Like you don't look, you know, put some clothes on. Some people learn best when they get a knuckle sandwich. <laughs> some people need to learn that hard oh, fucking yeah, lesson. When it's yeah. a hard lesson like that and you like you're, you grow up privileged and you just don't understand it or something like that. I think that might have had like something to do with it. a good sock to the jaw. Sometimes it helps. Sometimes it changes someone in the right direction. Sometimes they turn into more racist. Right. So sometimes violence doesn't always work. Yeah. You know, that's the, that's the tough thing there. It's like, you know, yeah. But some people is it can't gonna change, help? Is, so. it, is it going to just put them more firm in their convictions, you know, their racist convictions, right? Dude, and that's that I'm, guy that Daryl Davis that like fucking was on Rogan. I know we keep fucking going. Got milk us to leave, but he was the guy that used. He was like the blues player, the black blues player that would like play in the South, and like he's the guy that would like convert Klansmen just by like talking to him and yeah. stuff. And he has that whole thing where he collects robes. Mm -hmm. Like the guys will give when they leave the clan, they'll give him his their robe, and so he's like got this whole collection of robes that he's collected from former clan members. Um, Some about his whole thing is really cool. Because it's just different. It's like uh, he wants to like accept them as people, but yeah. he also wants to like have himself be accepted as a person. Yeah. So he wants them to realize that he is the same. Yeah. And he's too, the same. And what he does too, he's a blues player, right? He does it through music. And that's mm -hmm. why I fucking love music is because like he said a lot of the interactions, some of the guys would come up to him and be like, I never saw a black guy play like that or something like stuff like that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Where it's just like, these guys have just been so indoctrinated and inundated with like, you know, racial hatred that yeah. they just, once they get out there and actually experience what it's like to be around uh, you know, other people, people that yeah. are different from you, it, it's just people. People are just fucking people, people, you know, people most of the time. And like, you know, rarely, you know, you'll every once in a while encounter the, the odd fucking sociopath. I'm trying to find the video, dog. I think that shit just got deleted by the it's government. It's been about 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it's, it's, it's. I know what you're saying. You've seen plenty of instances like that, though, where it's people fucking have, insane, in public though. dropping that shit. Where it's totally like, what the? F like you could tell she got bullied for it, till this day, dog. I mean, like that shit probably. Yeah, people get like suspended and stuff. Oh yeah. and rightfully so. Yeah, that's dude, all that, I can that say. That is not cool, man. Like no. you're in a room. Look what you're saying. Free from judgment. I think that's an accurate thing. It's like freedom of speech does not mean freedom from judgment. Mm -hmm. And I hate the term freedom from consequences because consequences kind of makes it seem like. I'm fucking coming for you. 
Right. So like, you I'm being do, racist, I'm do something to you. Like, you didn't. You got to face the consequences. Like, wait, what does that mean? But freedom from judgment. Like, I can fucking judge what you say all day. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, that, that's fine. And that's if that's the consequence of your action. So, like, the I think people you're better. being racist to don't have a responsibility to fix you. That's your own fucking responsibility. Yeah, they no. can get hurt by it because it's fucking hurtful, but they don't have to like teach you a Barney lesson. Like you need to love all people. Like if yeah. I find out like my boy's getting fucked up by like a group of black people, but then I find out later that he ended up calling like, one of them a nigger, then I'm just all like, dude, like that's just like what? Like I I can't defend you in that right. matter. That's like really fucked up, dog. Like why would you even say? There's that? a line from I think, I think it's Samuel L. Jackson, but he's like. If the shoe fits, something like that, which kind of like people are like sometimes like, oh, I didn't deserve to be get beat up or something. But like if the shoe fits. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I see what you're saying. Like, you know, sometimes it's just like, hey, man, like, sometimes you kind of deserve it. Sometimes like yeah, there's definitely cases where I have it. People have it coming. But yeah, anyway, we'll pick we'll this up. We'll pick it, it up another yeah. time. We yeah. just we just all got it's a so hard many, topic. We all got so many good things to say and conversate and about. And I'm sober and shit now. Y'all are getting a fucking <laughs> woo kind of version of me. I'm like so. glazed eye shit. <laughs> it's gonna come to a point glazed where our donut. viewers know when when Baki is like fucked up off off a of weed or like when you can just tell they're like oh yeah no dude and he's Baki's sober, had something to drink or <laughs> some or Baki's had something to fucking drink <laughs> yeah, oh, bro, yeah happy dad dude fuck tubular <laughs> fuck yeah dude Nelt <laughs> boys sick ass waves get bro. a fucking tattoo of my fucking of my fucking dog's face on my chest cause my dog means so much part to of me. me wishes I was just born on the west coast and I just like in, in like a surf town dude yeah I just, I just wish <laughs> I had like smoked surf fucking hair. weed all day and just surf and that's all I wanted to do oh uh, dude the life that would fuck. be the fucking life dude you just like, that's what you want <laughs> I wish. It's, Fuck yeah, dude. I can. I that, fucking. I agree with that. Go on. Yeah. Man. Leave a five star comment. Leave a five star. Leave review. a fucking five star comment if you want to be that guy that fucking smokes weed and fucking rails the fuck out of them goddamn waves with a fucking Confederate flag. <laughs> fucking with the Confederate survey. flag. I don't know about all that, but. <laughs> fucking Danny McBride. That shit. Come on. Like the the General Lee. He's bound and down. We're going uh, the more innocuous. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. Thanks for listening, everybody. It's been great. Love you guys. Hope you had it. You're going to need a cigarette after this one. Love you guys. Love Jesus. you guys. Need blunt, Thank bro. you for coming this far. <laughs> Thank you for still fucking... And he tells me the comments. Thank you for still commenting, bro. I appreciate that. Yeah, I tell him all the comments. All the comments. All the comments. I know some of you fuckers out there don't like me. And on that note, have a good night. <laughs> <laughs>